my, my saving grace here, right, is that as, as I'm trading, and let, let's talk about this for a second. Um, I want to give you a new share. Let me pull up a window. Um, pull that a little thicker. Let's do blue. Let's talk about a few things on, on automation. Automation's tough. You know, there's, there's all these companies out there that have bots, they have systems, they have programs, oh, trade with mine. They have all these ways to scam you and rip you off and show you all this nonsense, bullshit stuff that's out there. You know, some of you showing screenshots of, of people's phones and they got all these winning trades and they're like, look at the money I'm making. Oh, and this is a snapshot of like a half a day, right? And you got all this money in here winning and they're doing all this stuff but none of them show you a long-term perspective center or, or a, a equity curve. You know, when you ask them, Oh, show me your equity curve or show me your, show me your history. You know, do you have my effects book? No. Do you have FX blue? No. I don't want to show you that. Or if they do, everything's set to private and they, you only see uh, profit uh, being made in there, or you, you might, you might see some, you don't see any pip usage or anything like that. There's like these big giant bucket farms that are out there that 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 have three or four my effects books. And so when one's doing good for the daily, they show daily results. And when one's doing bad for the daily, they go to another one, show their the other daily results on another one. So there's all these companies out there that tout what is automation for you. Now, for me, a true bot that trades artificial intelligence can't live on your computer. You understand that anybody that's touting that they have artificial intelligence that's working on your system that they can put onto your program onto your computer is what when somebody say it i'd say they're lying they're full of shit you're absolutely that's right the act of any of these programs being able to decipher news events to the levels that we're talking about this is golden sachs kind of process this is, this is tier three stacks of servers <laughs> in your system. Something like, like we have. Do you know how much money I spend in servers per month? Close to $4,000 a month in servers. Security servers that run signals, security servers and systems, and analytic servers that test all of the programs that we have. There's one bank of servers that's just devoted a whole stack devoted just to the AI system. And what does that AI system do? It takes all that daily information we do and applies it to the news format. That's how the step bots decides what trades to take. And when there's a, when there's a, a variable in uh, change in the process, it has to think its way through that process to, to, to add the variable. I did uh, an add on a variable the other day uh, manually, and I, it was a big mistake. <laughs> because I didn't take in consideration like the bot does to turn off all the, turn off all the, when all the trades, it does it when all the trades are done. I did. And I thought that it could handle the, the thought and it didn't. And it closed the trades out early. And that's where we got the 0.03 uh, down that day. Now, how much does this really come to about a dollar 24 <laughs> in the minus, whatever it was, right? It was something stupidly minute. Okay, so anybody who's touting that stuff, and, I, and listen, I'm not here, there, there might be, if somebody figured it out, somebody found out a new way to do it, that they can put it on your phone, <laughs> okay, to make it an app on your phone, okay, whatever. If they, found it, if they found it, let me know, because I'll buy into it as well. I'll figure out how to do it better, and we'll redo it as well. As well. But the concept is that automation trading can be lucrative, but you have stages of this, okay? If you're, if you're, if if you want to make, and I gotta, I gotta phrase this properly because I gotta be a little bit careful. I can't say if you want to make money for retirement, then go here. But if if you're if you're trying to figure out your retirement plan, right? If you're trying to figure out your retirement plan, do you say in your retirement plan, all right, well, the day I retire, I'm just going to go rob a bank? Right, that's not what you do, and this this should not be considered financial advice. By the way, no financial advice is being given here. But what I am giving you is a is an idea of how to make a plan. Now, 
you have to be prepared for three steps, okay? If you're planning, so we all, we all know about retirement, right? Let's put this at all the way to the right. Let's pretend that this is a timeline. Now, however long this timeline is, you add your age in, right? If you're 25 and you're watching this, then this timeline might be what, 40 years, right? Or 30 years or you know, whatever, you know, whatever your retirement time is. It, would, it used to be like 65 and, or 55 and then it was 65 and now it's like 375 now. Thor, are you that old yet? I'm getting there. <laughs> retirement is a state of mind. The state of process, we all look at it. What's the golden years? The golden watch era is done. See, it doesn't exist anymore. Pensions, mm-hmm. unless you work for the New Jersey State Police or you're a police chief somewhere on the East Coast, those pensions don't even. I mean, I, there are pensions out there, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be an alarmist, but n- nobody gives the golden watch 25 year service anymore. Nobody, not even the military. Okay. So the concept here is how do I get to this? You're gonna to have to do so long term, and this is where things come to get a little bit crazy for us, right? Because we're all trying to do one of three things, and we don't think of these three things at any time when we're thinking about this. Usually, most of us think about it on our timeline right about here, right? If this is the beginning of your life, you're a newborn baby, you know, whatever, and you shouldn't be on this. If you're a newborn baby, go 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 see your mommy. Why are you even on? If you are a newborn baby and you're watching this. Uh, we need to talk because you're like a super genius. But if you're thinking about this process for retirement and you're, you're here at this stage, you only have one choice, right? You, you, might be, you might be at the point where you're like, well, how am I going to get a lot of money? How much money do you need to live? All that kind of nonsense, right? You have to think about what, what do you physically need to live every day? So you either need to downscale and commit lower bills or find high risk solutions to your concept. If, if, you're, if you're back at this side, and let's just say that this is, let's say 30 somethings is here, and this is 40 somethings here, and this is 50 somethings here. There's a big gap here, I know. But it's still the same kind of concept. You're thinking of this time, you, you, could, you could take the opportunity to take some high risk opportunities, right? Your portfolio is gonna look a little different. You could use some high risk with, you know, maybe 10 high risk things and, five medium risk things and you know, one low risk thing because this bores the shit out of you. If you're, if you're a 30 something, uh, you may be bored with a low risk long term. You know, this, is where, this is where CDs and all that kind of stuff kind of come into play, mutual funds, all that nonsense, right? But if you're at that 40 something age and, you, and you, you, you even glint to this, you know, you're buying a sports car, <laughs> right? Midlife crisis kind of mentality, all right? So if you get to this point, you you start lowering your high risk, right? I don't know if some of you are getting this, if this is hitting home with some of you. Your medium risk might might increase, and then your 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 long term starts to increase. Right? And and what is high risk? Um, high risk is usually like stocks and bonds and or stocks and and you know, you, you got investment tips, you, you might buy some real estate here. So there's a re, you know, real estate medium, medium risk real estate, okay? If, if, if any, and ever you think, you know, long-term is like my kid's education for him to be a doctor so he could take care of me, that could be a long-term, right? <laughs> you know, acting lessons to be a superstar kind of stuff. Term, terminal in my case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so, Education, education is long term, right? With a little bit of uh, long term risk, you know, medium risk. So, you know, your job is it high risk or medium risk? Sort of medium risk, because if you think about it, a percentage, if you take your percentage of your money that you make every month and put it away, whatever you're going to do with your money at that point. Even your savings account. How much can you make on a normal savings account? Very little. You know, less than 2%, 1%, not Fuck even. Yeah. Not even 1%. Yeah. In some cases, is that compounded annually or monthly? Annually. Annually. So let's just say, let's just say that some beautiful bank decides that they want to give you 1% annual. Yeah. 
This is it, 1%. And you put $10,000 in that thing. You keep it there for five years. How much money did you make? Let's see if I can do this right. 10,000 times 1.01 per year. So one, two, three, four, five. You made 510 bucks. You're not even making the rate of inflation. Oh yeah, not even that, and then fees. So you gotta take off like 30 bucks a month. <laughs> and, and don't forget about taxes. Oh yeah, taxes too, because it's a turned income, <laughs> right? There's always someone that's got to right. swear on here, isn't there? Yeah, right? Oh, don't forget about diapers too. And <laughs> if you think I'm talking about baby diapers, you're out of, you're out of line, <laughs> all right? But it's true, 1%. So yeah, we always gonna have to worry about taxes. We're always gonna worry about that process. But the long-term risk here is that what does it become? So all this nonsense gets kicked out, but I'm going to show you by one thing, automation trading. I'm going to say automation trading because when I say auto trading, somebody thinks I'm telling you talking about cars. Chris, <laughs> excuse me. Um, hey, sorry. that's your that's your brother. <laughs> I know. I, I, I seen that in a private conversation last night. It's like auto trading sounds like I'm trading my cars. And in fact, it was weird. I used to own a company called Auto Trader. So yeah, go figure. Um, the concept here for automation, though, I have to give you some warning. There are high risk solutions that we have, but there are there's one super low risk one, which has been doing very well. It's just a step bot, which we'll talk about here in a second. But this concept becomes very very easy to see. It's when you see the equity curve go like this. You just have to determine one factor. And that's how much can you start with? There's a factor called compounding where month one, month two, month three, month four, month five, and so forth. You just keep letting the money go over to the next month. So there is balance compounding. Okay. And this will yield out. Let's say, let's say we make say 4% on the money here. Okay. Per month. You know, if this is the average 4%, okay? And we put $1,000 in. So month one, we made 40 bucks, right? So here we start off with 1,000, and by month one, we're at 1,040, right? But now we make 4% of 1,040 the next month. That makes sense? And then we make 44% on whatever that is. So let me see. Uh, let me let me share. Let me share. Let me see if I can share this real quick. So 1,000 times 1.04. 1,040. God, my math is great. And then the next month, we made a little bit more than 40 bucks. Now the next month. Up. Now we're above 124 bucks for three months. So it's still more than 40 bucks. Up. There we go. This is where it starts to kick in. And as you incrementally crawl, month 12. Now we've made 48% on our money. You see what I'm saying? So the concept here of making 4% per month, that's only that's only compounding monthly on the balance itself. But if we incre increase the lot structure with that, because for, for every time that we hit the next thousand dollar level, we're using another micro lot, that's gonna increase the process, what we call com lot compounding, volume compounding. And so your percentages are going to increase so let, let me show you what I'm referring to. Pause the share. This is a live account on Trader's Way through our, our friend Gary, who's one of our founders and one of our, our clients. And as you see, there's, there's a, 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 a process of, look at this equity curve, constantly going up. That's why we call it the step bot. We thought we had, we, this is where we had the down the other day that we talked about on the phone. It's not showing. Oh, it's not. I'm sorry. Resume share. 
I apologize. Thank you. There we go. So this is this is the My Effects book account uh, of of Gary, who is a founder and a member and a client, of course, and uh, not only a hair club president, but um, here's where we had the down first time ever. And this is my fault. I apologize. So you can sue me for the three percent point zero point zero three percent for that loss. But the concept is still the same. If you look at the um, equity curve, it's pretty big. Okay. But we're sitting at right now, 4.39% average for the monthly. Right now, if total, we're sitting at 6.3, but only because Gary got in in January. So February, we got just underneath. Now, let me tell you, December, January, and February are tough months. Why? Because, well, first off, they are. Second off is because it's, it's Christmas area, it's the new year, people are coming in, and now, from now until April, investors and programming, all that stuff. It's all the way up to tax season. So June, you know, May, June, July, August area are the best times of month or best times of year for trading, especially in the system that we're doing, especially in the 17 years where the data we've collected, we see this process grow to the highest level. Now, since May 18th, so or May, 2018, we were running the uh, another system on here live uh, in the system, and we made 12% average per month. Okay, 12% per month average, because we're only looking at a three on, on our portfolio. Let me sign in here real quick. Can you guys still see my screen? Uh, yeah, just, yeah. Just as you're speaking. There you go. Okay. okay. So here's the, here's the step bot and from December 5th, right? 2018. So it, it only looks a little bit longer than that. And we've made 19% so far on the money, but an average of 6% per month. Right? So the longer we go back, we show, we show about 12% average per month for when you look at the at, at over a whole year, two and a half years or two years over the process in the solution, about 12%. You just have to take my word on that. And the concept becomes very apparent on, if you have a couple of years worth of data, and this is with the new president, this is with you know 24 uh, NFPs, this is with all that data that happens during the month. And this is why this is a long-term low-risk strategy. Long-term low-risk strategy. So how do you get involved with something like this? And I'm, and I'm talking to some of you right now that are members, that are already members, okay? I'm talking to uh, like Alan and Earl and Eduardo and, well, Ed's already a part of it. I, well, I didn't know, I know he's not, I'm sorry. Uh, John and, and uh, Tim's already a part of it too, so. But, there's, there's a handful of you that if you're looking at becoming a trader, you should not be looking away from the step bot. You should not be like, well, I'll get that when I'm ready. No. If you're 40 something, 50 something, this is something that you should be getting into now. And here's my, here's my word that I'm giving to all of you. I've been doing this for five years. I've been building this company for five fucking years for this event to happen. We have this little system in it we, we talk about, right? The, our flux capacitor moment. And it's one statement. Some of you know, you're know, already cringing that I'm going to draw this and I'm going to say this. You ready? We found our C. That's all this is. This is our consistency level to do what? Why? That's it. I've been waiting my entire trading life, my entire Dex life for this fucking beautiful thing. Now, luckily we found TNT too, you know, to kind of keep me occupied. TNT is a distraction. TNT is a little add on it's that short term gain to keep you busy while you do this. And why is this so important? Because if we use the daily or the, the average results from our other system, our system, our step bot system, and we're looking at 12%. And if we just do a balance compound, let me show you what that looks like yourself okay we're going to take let's just say 
$2,000. Now remember, this is not for indicative to future results, okay? But I'm, I'm gonna show you what it looks like if we compound a balance of $2,000 with 12% over 12 years. So I'm just gonna take this into 1.12, right? That makes sense? Oh, you math whiz? Okay, I'm gonna times this by, I'm just gonna do just three equal or 12 equal. So first equal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's one year. $7,791.95 with $2,000 to start with after one year. So what do you do if I take that $2,000 and times it by 1.12? So I made $240 my first month, right? On the average, my first month. Depends on what month you start with. But on the average, if you do that, even say if you made $100 or $200, did that just pay for your deck system plus? Yeah, absolutely. You should be looking at this process now as you may not be taking the money out of there, but you may be paying for the system like you pay for a tool. And how much does all that cost? We'll go into that here in a second. But this idea of getting into this long-term strategy for yourself, it doesn't matter what I teach you how to trade with. If this is trading in the background, this is paying for your retirement. And if you're not going to retire in five years, that's fine. If you're not going to retire in two years, whatever. Can the 7000 bucks pay for your retirement? No. But I am just doing a balance multiplier here. I'm not doing the, where we increase the lot structure and we, we tender through some months and we, and we increase our lot structure on, on others because we have the data to say, okay, this is going to be a really strong month. Increase your lot balance up to this. We have a good ratio of success. We have 17 years worth of data. We have two years worth of lot or two years worth of demo to one and a half years of live. That's really important. And that's the engagement we have with this system. So month 13, you could choose to let it roll and keep going to month five or year five, or you can start pulling out your month 13, you pull 240 bucks out. You get what I'm saying? And that $240 is then rolled from what we call long-term investment, long-term gain, which is a different pricing structure and taxes than it is in short-term gain. If you made 2000, if you made $240 your first month and you took it out, because then you have to start over again, make 12%. If you just want to make 240 bucks a month, that's it. If you want to put $100,000 into this, some of you don't have 100,000, you know, to be able to spare like that. I don't, well, I kind of do, but make 12 grand a month. Got me? Simple. But the point is that it's like, I have my engineering friend. He's like, how much should I put in? I said, you have 100,000? He goes, no. I said, then, Put in whatever feels necessary to you. He goes, all right, 3K, that'll work. But let's talk about just a few other things. Do not, under no circumstances, put your rent money in this thing. No. Do not, under any circumstances, put your child's education in this thing. I'm not saying that because I think that it's a, 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 a process that it couldn't lose. It, it won't. But... In, in my eyes, it will. Your risk is that you put into this, like, here's how I decide if I'm going to go gambling at night, right? I don't gamble anymore because I don't have the time. But I used to gamble all the time. In fact, you could almost borderline saying that I was a professional gambler for a while because I played a lot of blackjack tournaments. Wasn't big on Texas Hold'em. I have a poker face that's good for radio. That's about it. But the idea was when I went to play blackjack, I had my, my, everybody's got the system, right? But I had my system and I had my thing. It was my thing. But any money that I walked in the casino with, if I walked in with 500 bucks, that was money I was prepared that it was gone. Like I, I, I just pick it out of my pocket and throw it in the ground and it would have no more or less effect on me than if I walked out with nothing from the casino. Now on the other side, if I walked out with a dollar, guess how much money I want? A dollar. I want a dollar. I want that with a buck. I want. And that's what it comes down to is that it's your frame of mind. <laughs> Paul Davey, I'm going to punch you in the head, uh, goes, 
So from C plus V equals G, we go to C plus V equals R, which is retirement. Thank you very much. I need another algorithm in my head. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. I'm, only, I'm, I'm only here to please. I'm going. I'm going to check that as answered with with the rest. <laughs> answered live. Good. Okay. There we go. So your concept from this point on is what is this worth to you? Mm -hmm. What is this kind of mentality worth to you? We know it works on Oneida, Oneida, whatever. I'm always getting yelled at for saying that wrong. We know it works on Oneida. We know it works live on Oneida. We know it works live on, on Trader's Way. We know it works on demo on all the systems. It uses FIO compliancy, it uses no hedging. It's all that, right? In a bag of, in a bag of nuts. So how much does it cost? Well, I'm not trying to turn this into a sales video, but if none of you are thinking about this, then you're in the wrong industry. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be very hard on most of you right now. If you want to be successful, then you take the time like Thor did today and make something happen. So what's the cost for this? Well, if you're already an all-in member, you got it. Boom. Then you, you got your whatever it is a month that you pay. If you're an 8X or if you're a 4X member, it's 147. You're already in. It's included. But here's what we're going to do um, later on today. And we're going to give this out to everybody. We're going to turn this thing on for you for 97 bucks a month. And your first month is only going to have a $47 setup fee for us to help you to that process. But you also have one other fee, and that's a $29.99 or $29, buck, $29.99, I think it is, something really ridiculously low, for a server from DexFX or DexWebTools.com. And if you don't want to buy ours, that's fine. You can go buy some other place, but don't scrimp. Don't get the $2 server from, you know, Servers RS, you know. This is completely managed and we, we make sure that it's on. It's got 99.9% .9 uptime, all that stuff. And why you want a server as well is because of what we call the VPS, because you want this thing to run all week without it being turned off. Your power goes out on your house. There's no redundancy, right? Unless you guys got generators, but even if it flickers, it could turn your system off. You get what I'm saying? Plus I know the system inside now and I know if there's problems, it's fixable and where, where to go to fix it. And we'll help you install it. We'll get it on. We'll put you into a Zoom category. You go in and Thor, how easy is this thing to install when you got me on the line with you? Uh, not bad. You know, there's a lot of clicks and a lot of uh, moving through it. And yeah. we, we recorded how to do it. Yeah. A lot so, of Max, a lot of Max laughter. That's about <laughs> a lot of me fumbling around on the computer screen. Yeah. But it's all good, uh, right? So, yeah. It's, it's just uh, clicking the right box at the right time. And if right. you, once we get the uh, video up, you just uh, go through it step by step, pause the video, do the next step, pause right. the video, do the next step, and, and you'll, you'll be done. Exactly. So the cost, right? Even if it's 97 bucks a month, let's say you just get it. It's 97 bucks a month. How much did I make the first month? Kind of got to that point of almost paying for itself, right? So the point is that if this thing can maintain its own integrity as it's going, and all you have to do is increase the lot structure as you go, what does it look like once you start to get up there as far as compounding goes? Well, watch what happens. It goes to this. Still only sitting down around 3% 3, 3 because we've only had it on since the beginning of February, so it's not very much. But look what happens with compounding of lot structure. 298 bucks. Well, wait a minute. It hasn't made 298 bucks since step bots. Oh, this is the Oneida step. So it started a little later. Regular step by. Okay. So it made just a little bit more than 290, but that's after a month and a half of it, two, three months, three months of being on. Look how much money this thing's made, but I, there's $8,000 in this one. So balance influx plus lot. This is what it looks like. It's already at a point now where the profit's being made and it's only been on since February 10th. So that you mean to tell me that this just made 300 bucks for the month? Yeah. And as it, as it continues to compound on, it's going to make even more as you get to 10, 20, $30,000 in this thing. When month 13 comes, I get to pull out 300 bucks. When month 14 comes, I get to pull out maybe five or 600. When month 15 comes, I get to pull out, you know, however much incrementally to go from that point, but you get what the picture is. So it takes a year to get there. Then once you're there, you start pulling month out from the first month. It will grow slower rather than if you kept it just all compounding all the time. 
And I have to make a spreadsheet for lot compounding uh, to be able to put that in. It's very complicated rather than just doing a, a balance structure. You get what I'm saying with this? So you have a potential of making between 1.1 and $1.8 million in your account by year five if you do proper compounding. If you pull out money along the way, you don't make as much because remember that money has to stay in and stay on. It has to be stayed working for you, but you, you get money to live with, right? So if you're 40 something, 35 something in that area, then you put it in, you turn it on and you just make sure the monthly fees are paid and you, you just keep going and keep doing whatever you're doing in your life. You trade, you work, you play, you do whatever. You're not going to make your wildest dreams in this thing right at the moment. This wildest dreams have to build. I feel a disclaimer coming on here. Yeah. Right. You, I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor, but the idea is, is that if, if you're a 30 something, 40 something, you have to create something for your long term. Don't even look at it. Don't even touch it. Let it do what it's going to do. In five years, you're going to, you're going to be calling me up and be like, Hey Max, what do you want to name my Island? It might be a small island, but you still could buy one, possibly. <laughs> but the concept is still simple. Now, if you're older, you may want to get to your first year and start pulling money off. That three or four hundred bucks may be, may you be, maybe your salvation, maybe your your mortgage payment, or maybe you know the money for food or whatever it is. But you have to start looking at what is the cost to run this to get to that point. I had somebody ask me the other day. Um, What's in it for you? And I'm going to be I'm going to be very 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 honest and upfront to you. Um, what's in it for me? That's it. Now there's all the other kumbaya stuff. The I want to help people find their idea of success. I really want to work hard for people. I I wouldn't have this if it wasn't for all the people like yourselves that are in this and watching these videos now. I wouldn't have this program. Do you realize I would not have this program if it wasn't for all the people who came before you and that are here now? I would not have this program. So my thanks for being able to afford to be able to build this and the founders and all those guys that came on board that spent a lot of time and efforts with us and, and these long-winded videos and all that stuff. Right now, this is my reward for building it and taking all that time in. And it just goes to pay for the company, keep it going so we can build more. But my reward, what's in it for me is the bot itself. I'm the cook that works at the restaurant that eats at his own restaurant because I really enjoy it. And that's what this is all about. So if you already have the bot, great. If you're an all in, you got it on, start getting in, start filling it out, start getting ready. Go buy your, get your server, follow the directions, get on board. If you're unsure what to do, fill out a consult, get on board, get a Zoom consult going on, get, get it in the system and moving, get on demo, make sure it works, start saving your money, put $2,000 into uh, a, a box under your bed if you have to. And once you get to that point, you, you, get the, you find out what broker you want to use, Oanda, or you want to use Trader's Way or what have you. We just have to figure that out. And who to best fit, help you figure that out? Call me on the phone. I can give you my opinions, but I can't give you direct advice on which one to choose. But I can tell you the pros and cons that I've faced on both or, or all of them. Then let then copy the success of the bot and the step bot. This doesn't lie. I can't fake these results. Yes. You know what? Uh, I heard from somebody the other day. Yeah. You could go in and do like this inspect thing and fake everything out. Yeah, you could. But you couldn't show click. You could you should you couldn't show clicking, right? Because that's only on a stagnant page. I can send you the link to this page right here, and you can go to this actual page. In fact, you go to my entire portfolio from this page. It's all open. Every single one that we have: the TNT strategy, the bucket bot, the the Max Company one that I just showed you. This one is connected to it, uh, and it's it's the same thing as the the step bot. Oneda or Oanda, whatever, the profit bot, the step bot, everything's open. There's nothing here private because I don't want to think anybody that I'm hiding anything. I want you to see the pros and cons and the win. 
but the majority of all these are in an upward equity curve. So that tells you something right there. If this doesn't sell you for your, your retirement, then nothing will. If you can't afford to put two grand in, don't worry. You know, there are ways that we can make it work with a single grand, a single thousand dollars. But anything less than that, there's a, there's a potential that you could get stopped out. All right. Uh, with, yeah. with a single, you'd be trading one a uh, lot. So it'd take you a lot longer, but. Right. Earl, Earl says he's working on it, getting the money together, 1400 target, 2500 to open it. Absolutely. You know, 1400 could actually work the system if you set the lot controls down to uh, only do, you know, do the multiplier. But if you force the fixed lot of only one, um, that could work for you. But the problem with that is that if it does ever have to increase its lot for the market expansion, like if it goes from two to four to increase that or two to five um, or two to three, I mean, then you, you, you would still get stuck on doing one. You may not make as much, but once you get up to those being able to do exactly on a multiplier as the step bot does, then, then you would do that. Now, the other thing is that the step bot, this trades off a demo and it will never increase its lot size as far as the overall, right? It's always going to start with 0 0.02 forever. So even though that just may grow to 20, 30, 50, hundred thousand dollars over five years, it will never increase its lot structure. So there's going to be some of you that are going to be increasing your lot structure. Like uh, Gary's going to be increasing his soon because he's seeing a, uh, an ability to be able to do that because mm -hmm. he's going to put in thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 on his side. I can't wait till he does that when he starts doing that process because I know that this guy has been looking at this for a while now and now he has something. Even my, my manager friend or my engineer friends like Max, I have a pool of people, you know, within my family. I was like, well, you can't trade it for all of them, but – you know, if you happen to come into twenty thousand dollars or thirty, that whatever, whatever you can afford to put in, or you put in. You know, and I'm not, I'm not saying go grab your life savings and go chuck it in this thing. All right, because there's a lot of protection you have to do. But there is, there is a very strong sense that what what I have and what I've seen and what I've built, that right. this is finally it. This is I'm if. If this doesn't work, I'm becoming a monk, right? But the 17 years worth of data, when we apply the process properly, and we have all the data, and you know how we'll know I am on data, this is what works, right? All right, I've sort of sent this one home today. Um, if there's any questions, please, 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 you know, don't hesitate to, to write me, contact me in the process. Um, I want to thank everybody for being here today. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everybody. Um, we have a lot of work to go do. There's still a lot of stuff on the site that we have to finish out and fix uh, and make sure that it's all operating properly. Uh, if there's any questions, any issues, please give us a call. Please let us know. Um, I'm Max Farrell. This is DexFXMarkets.com. I'm going to stop the recording now, and we'll see you all next time. And as always, trade well.